The rinse repeat cycle continues as far as our weather is concerned. More showers and thunderstorms, and it looks like this pattern really is not going to let up much, at least not this week. We have an area of low pressure, another one, settled over Southern California. However, it's on the move. It's pushing into Southern Nevada, headed towards uh, Las Vegas ever so slowly. But being that it's right in that position where it throws more moisture our way, wouldn't rule out more showers and thunderstorms in the Snake River Plain. Definitely in the mountains and highlands tomorrow. So just keep your eye to the sky, especially in the afternoon. You'll probably see some sunshine early, get all excited and think that's how the day's going to end. But it probably won't end that way, especially if you're in the high country. So radar right now over our area, most of the showers have pushed off towards the west, towards the north. Still a lot of activity in the central mountains between Haley and Arco and some Big old thunderstorms run, roaring through the Minicaggi, our eastern Magic Valley, and over the South Hills, making a beeline towards Palmerell. Looks like Oakley, too, just south of Burley, getting some shower activity and some showers off towards the west over in Jackson. We ended up with some measurable rain in Pocatello this evening. That thunderstorm that roared all in, it was probably more wind than anything. Idaho Falls ended up with quite a bit more measurable rain, 16 hundredths of an inch. So we'll take it for today. Temperature wise, still not bad considering we had a little more in the way of cloud cover today. Did get enough sunshine, almost hit 80 in Pocatello, 77 for high in Idaho Falls, lows at night were warmer than average, just like they were during the day this afternoon. And that's really not going to let up all that much. In fact, we'll be pretty close uh, in Idaho Falls to where we were last night. 49 expected for tonight with a partly cloudy sky. Pocatello will drop down at about 52. 53 in Rexburg, one degree warmer than the Gate City. Take that, Pocatello. Showers and thunderstorms possible again tomorrow. Temperatures will back off a couple degrees. Still quite comfortable for this time of year. At least it's not hot, right? We'll take 75 any day, especially when it's in June. 72 for high in Rexburg and even St. Anthony will be in the lower uh, lower end of the 70s at least. We got 70s on the travel tracker, a few 60s mixed in. 65 and showers and thunderstorms for Jackson. Logan, showers and thunderstorms in their forecast. Looks like Salt Lake City may get scot free tomorrow when it comes to the stormy weather. They'll hit 81 with a partly sunny sky. Could see more showers and thunderstorms in Boise. They had a severe thunderstorm warning earlier this evening for that area. Had winds gusting over 60 miles per hour. So they're getting their share of wild weather, just like we are here in East Idaho. Back here in East Idaho, that Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Friday, a chance of more showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, ah, there's our break. Partly sunny, but looks like we're right back at it on Sunday with a chance of more storminess going into Tuesday. But the way it looks now, the end of next week may be a little better than the end of this week. But we're eyeballing Saturday for Idaho Falls. Looks like that'll be the nicest day coming up. That'll be the start of the weekend that we want. Rexburg seven day forecast. Definitely showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Chance of more of that on Friday. A mostly cloudy start to the weekend, but at least we'll be storm free. Not necessarily storm free for the Teton area. For the next six days, likely we'll see it tomorrow and even chances of storminess all the way through next Tuesday, including this weekend. Central mountains, showers, thunderstorms likely for the next couple of days. We've had a lot of rain in the central mountains. It looks like we could get more rain clear through the weekend into next Tuesday. But finally, we had a partly sunny, a dry day for next Wednesday. We'll hit 76.